Hey, welcome back in, in today's video. I just feel like it's time to tell you. That's right, Greg. What I really think. Now, I, I wanted to share something with you guys that like a lesson that I learned growing up and it was a lesson that you would think that you would just know but something that completely slipped my mind and that I, that's right Greg um, see whether you are a youtuber a convenience store clerk a janitor a teacher a doctor whatever it is that you may be or aspire to be it doesn't really matter it's it can be all the same and what do i mean by that all right check this out i thought i used to think growing up i used to think i was always i grew up in the south and everybody in the south they it's like you you gotta be I know this is gonna sound crazy to most of y'all but it's like you gotta be a you gotta work in the carpet mill or you gotta you gotta work in the garage you gotta work on cars you gotta you gotta be an electrician I mean literally the schools around us uh, are technical schools and they don't really push you to do very much and it's just the area of the south which is weird because if you go up north to new york they push you towards more uh office type jobs more just technologically geared jobs and it seems to be that way throughout the united states whatever specific uh what is it called whatever the specific norms and folkways are you are pushed towards that so I used to think I, I growing up I, people told me that and I just felt like it was wrong I felt like there was something that was just not right about it so I didn't want to I never felt comfortable working a normal nine-to-five job so I looked in other directions to do something bigger and better and that led me to believe that if, if, it, if I thought that way then there's got to be other people that thought that way as well and so I got I got to thinking that people only did jobs like convenience stores and stuff like that because they didn't know any other way or they were like me were pushed towards things like that and I just could not see how someone could be happy doing that now this is when I was uh, younger and it was really only till I started becoming successful on YouTube that I really it was just like all clicked maybe it was just because I got older everything just kind of clicked I was like there are some people there are people that are getting the same satisfaction as me that are might be working on cars and and might be working in convenience stores and things like that and I needed to like re-gear my brain to be like not to approach those people because my intentions was always pure i would approach these people and i would be like you can do better you can be better you can do something great and not realizing that i was offending them thinking they were like really you know killing it in their job doing the most feeling really good about themselves and here i come in and i'm like you can be better you know, there's like a good 50 50 50 draw there where it's like uh, half the people were like looking up to me and all inspired at the motivation because I aspired I still do aspire to be like a motivational speaker a public speaker and another 50% that was just like and screw this guy you know and I realized that looking back how many people's feelings did I hurt and that was like one of the most uh, it seems very simple it seems like something that you should just know and i figured that it's something i should share with you guys because what if what if you didn't know that right so point is is that never look at somebody and think that they ain't happy doing what they're doing now, like you can motivate them and everything but be clear that it within your motivation is that you're motivating them and not motivating them in a way that is crapping all over what they are currently doing so 
kind of like how I've been like I've been changing my content over the past couple of years and, and a lot of you might notice I'm tr becoming uh, less biased you know when you're a young a young youtuber a young Padawan you just you tend to be very biased and I feel like it's better to present the news in in specific things and give less of a personal opinionated twist on it to give you guys uh, the ability to form your own opinions and that's kind of like how uh, I've started approaching pretty much everything in life like approaching uh, public speaking and 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 things like that it's like you want to be like you can and I 100% I, I believe that each and every human being was born with the ability to change the very foundation upon which they stand and think and it's it's been a core foundation and, and message in all my uh, material and it's like a message that I want to I want to keep doing but listen you be working at that convenience store you don't feel less about that that is and can be a place of change you can be and create things that the world might never have thought of and I know that sounds kind of crazy like what do you mean i'm just working at a convenience store but what if you invented something what if you were inspired to do something just from being there in that moment and i hope that i'm not coming off sounding like that guy one day i was just sitting outside you know drinking my coffee and everything just kind of clicked what happened was is i was telling somebody like trying to inspire them just like I have many other times, not trying to inspire them, but more like just being myself and just being like, you. I just feel like uh, you can do better, I said. I said, you can do better. You can do great. If they were really, 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 really excited about their job, really, really happy in their job and thought they had done the greatest, you know, and, and they had. And I was inspired myself by their tenacity and their just doing of doing, right? Uh, but in that moment, they felt attacked I, I was saying that i was acknowledging their talent i was telling them that they could do great things and all this stuff uh but they thought i was attacking them and it's crazy because because in the end of that of that moment they were mad and and saying some things to me that i needed to back off and and i was just like completely oblivious i was like whoa whoa wait a minute wait a minute like why is this person mad at me and just like many this has happened growing up so many times right and then it was the first person that ever like really had the patience to like t tell me like this is why i'm mad every every other person and this is a big lesson not just in th what i'm talking about but in life and you guys might connect this with so many other things and it might click for you but it's like this it's like the first person everybody else that i, I ever upset they were just like they didn't have the patience they didn't have the time they didn't care it was like it was like i made them mad and screw me they didn't care if I knew exactly what I was doing or not. But this person, they did care. I don't know why. I, they had an extreme amount of patience. I already knew that, so that could contribute. But instead of thinking, this guy hurt me, screw him, they thought, why did this person say these things? And then they let me know. And... It, it wasn't right in the moment that I got it, but it was like a week later. I was sitting on, like I said, sitting on the porch, just drinking some coffee. And then it was just like, oh my God. All these, all these things that I've said. And uh, how many people have I hurt? Not realizing that they were already doing what they should be doing. So that's the lesson. We are always already doing what we're supposed to be doing. Don't be sad because you have negativity in your life. Rejoice because you have negativity in your life. Because without that negativity, you would not you would not have anything to compare it to. Without the light, we have no dark. Without the dark, we have no light. 
you don't know what's good unless you have something bad to compare it to. Like the yin and yang, it's there for a reason. I hope this is some message that has helped you as much as it's helped me. But I just feel like I really wanted to talk to you guys and let you know that we're learning together. Not one better than the other, but we're like a unit, the rep squad. And as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs up. As always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. <coughs> It's a fundamental lesson. Greg! Lesson. Because I know that you're repping it. If you're not repping, you're Greg. And how do you become a member of the rep squad? Well, all you can do is subscribe with notifications turn on. Be in the comment section of every single video. Because I'm going to be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there. And the rest of the rep squad community is going to be there as well. And I expect to see you there too. Because this channel loves you. Whoops.